Hi, I'm John Martin, and I'm a part of the Global IT Convergence team. And today, we're going to talk about upgrading customizations to R12. If you have already decided to move to Oracle R12, you will need to figure out how to convert your customizations and whether or not you will reinstall or just upgrade your environment. This presentation talks about what you will have to face to achieve that goal. Now, one of the most important things to know is the amount of work required to upgrade your customizations. Assessing the impact those changes will have is difficult because it depends on how your code was written and whether or not the data structures that it uses has changed. At IT Convergence, we have developed a module to estimate the work involved based on historical information, standard complexity distributions, and activities required to upgrade the programs. This experience shows that you can expect something in the 20 to 30 percent range of the initial development effort to actually complete the upgrade process. Now most of the effort will be invested in analysis and testing activities as Oracle always tries to keep database function changes to a minimum, which reduces the complexity of the technical work. Although technical work will be limited, your business analysts will still need to devote time to the upgrade project. They will need to define how those processes that have been impacted by changes need to be re-implemented in R12, and then you will need to test all your customizations again. Now, this is important because sometimes it's believed that upgrading customizations is only a technical thing, but actually it consumes a significant amount of time for your business analysts and testing teams. Before jumping into the upgrade process, you should develop a comprehensive list of customizations to upgrade. Most organizations accumulate a lot of reports, interfaces, and data exports over the years that they may not be using at the time of an upgrade. And since upgrading these items costs money, it doesn't make much sense to invest in migrating a code that's no longer used. So it's a good idea to review your list of Rice W objects with your users and make sure you only convert that what you need. It also might be a good idea to invest some time in reviewing the new functionality and determining if any of your customizations can be replaced by standard functionality. A small assessment project can help you define if this is true for your environment. With regards to the changes in the functionality of the financials applications, you can expect to find many new features in the accounting module, the multi-currency reporting features, the multi-organization support, and the legal entity setups are just a few of the main ones. You must know that those changes, even when they are very important in terms of functionality, they're not really big at the code level. Adjusting the code to work with the new module is very easy and only requires changing several tables for views or the names of a couple of fields. So that's a quick look at the process you'll need to follow to upgrade your customizations to R12. Since 1998, IT Convergence has helped dozens of multinational companies to implement Oracle applications and to customize them to better support their business. We offer both public and private workshops to keep you current with these advances in Oracle applications. I hope you found this presentation helpful. For more information about Oracle R12, please visit our public workshop website at www.itconvergence.com forward slash workshops. Thank you.